Well, welcome back for story time this week. So glad that you've joined us. You know, this week in our children's worship, uh, family worship on Sundays, we're starting a new unit um, on God's creativity. So our first lesson is on creation. So I thought it'd be great to read the story. But this time, the story is going to be told from the perspective of Adam. And our story starts like, wow, just wow. All right. Wow, and I mean wow. I can't believe what happened to me today. I was created, and it was amazing. God had been very busy in the last few days. First, there was nothing. And then every day, God made something new. Light, the ocean, the sky, the sun and moon, plants, trees, flowers, fish, birds, you name it. Everything was made for a reason, and it was good. Yesterday, God made these things called animals. They're wonderful creatures. Big ones and small ones, furry ones and tough ones, spotted ones and striped ones. Some have long necks. Others have sharp teeth. Each one is unique. God is so creative. And then God made something extra special. God made me. God took some dirt from the ground, the freshest dirt you've ever seen, and shaped me into the first ever brand new, pleased to meet you, human being. God's world is awesome. I love breathing the crisp air and eating the delicious fruit in the garden. But the one thing I love most is what God made just for me. First, God made me go to sleep. And then God took one of my ribs and turned it into the most dazzling creature I've ever seen, a woman. She's beautiful, and now she's my wife. We watch over the animals and take care of the garden we live in, the Garden of Eden. Together, God has given us everything we need. God must really love us. Wow. You know, I'm so thankful that God made me. Even though God made everything, God chose to make me. And God chose to make you. God wanted you to be part of our very special world. God made you exactly as you are, and God never makes mistakes. And you know the best part? God made us because He loves us so much. And God will never stop loving us. Isn't that amazing? Now think about all of God's creation. What's one thing in God's creation that just amazes you? Think about what that is and thank God for that today. Thank you for joining us for Storytime.